Hello, Agu lovers, farm owners, and agripreneurs. Welcome back to your number one agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. And on today's episode, I have a very, very interesting and very, very unique uh, part of agriculture, uh, which is which we call beekeeping, which is apiary, which is the science and the business of uh, keeping bee for the product of honey and some other uh, derivable products. This is one of the most profitable and the most profiting and the most interesting part of agriculture in the sense that is a business you can actually do is a kind of animal production or animal keeping that you don't necessarily need uh, to be feeding them you can do beekeeping successfully in a way that they will feed on nature but there are principle guiding it and i'll be taking you through uh, a demo plot here where we have uh, some beehive I'll be showing you how it has been done the housing and the practice the general practice of our uh, beekeeping and what you need to do in terms of site selection how to attract them and how to manage so if you have interest in keeping bee in having your own uh, bee farm and apiary I will uh, encourage you to watch this video uh, to the end as you will be getting so much value from this content let's go so as i've said earlier uh, in this video we are going to be talking about how to keep bee so how to select a site suitable for beekeeping and what are the do's and the don'ts and also we'll be looking at the importance of beekeeping and how profitable it is so to start with bees are wide they are white flies but you can keep bee for the purpose of exploiting uh, economic product from them which is the honey so that is one of the major reasons why we keep bee so how do we keep bee when they are wild animals? They live in the wilderness, as in they live in the bush. And beekeeping is not something you can, you can do in your backyard. It's not advisable. And they will not even come because you need to invite them to your hive before they will come. So they will not come in to a place, to come and live in a place that have so many human uh, uh, human uh, activity around. So in selecting a suitable site for beekeeping, you have to make sure it's not on the road. You actually first and foremost look for an area that have uh, a variety of vegetation cover, not a place that is only covered with grass not a grassland and not a place that is only covered with non-flowering uh, bushes so you look for a place that have a mixture of vegetation both trees shrubs uh, and most preferably the flowering trees that have flowering trees around so we'll be talking about forest areas forest areas and uh, farming areas that are a little bit in the suburb that have uh, little interference and uh, you make sure the site you selected is not on the farm road it's not on the road that every five minutes a car will be passing by those kind of things will distract b and it will not allow them to settle so another thing is that um uh, how do you invite them to come and stay? Because if you are not able to invite B to your hive, there is no way you can extract honey from them. So the only thing you need, let me just mention the things you need for your beekeeping first. You need an hive like this box. This is what we call hive. So, and preferably with a stand like this. So, and you look, after looking for a location, 
you set your hive in a very very good location and you have to beat it what i mean by beating is rubbing the hive the inside of the hive you rub it with bee wax bee wax have the capacity to attract bee from even a long distance so when they perceive it they will come and they will see the hive as a suitable uh, habitat for them and they can settle there and when they settle they start making honey inside the box and it's the honey they are making inside the box they is the food for them and that is what you as a beekeeper will come at interval maybe every month or something when they are due for harvesting it's what you will come to harvest as interval so those are the things so what do they feed on so actually you don't they are not animals you feed on like poultry uh, cattle or rabbit or pig you just make sure there's a lead a, a good vegetation around that they can feed on you know they feed on the nectars of trees flowering trees and that is why uh it's another interesting part you don't do apart from the bee wax you will buy the beehive you the protective gear you'll be wearing when you want to harvest and maybe if you want to do a system like this you construct a shed but this is not a must you can actually uh site your beehive under a tree do you get it just make sure the legs of your hive is made with wood uh which is made with metal because that will prevent uh timide attack and hunt and all those kind of things that will also uh deprive or spoil your honey for you so uh what are the importance and what are the benefits of keeping with uh bee especially as a farmer if you are a farmer and you can set out maybe a small part of your land to keep bee it will help you, it will even improve your productivity as a farmer because they are pollinators as we all know them. They help us to pollinate our plant, leading to more fruiting and more production. Do you get it? And that is why if you are a, if you are, if you are a cashew farmer, cocoa farmer, oil palm farmer, or any other fruiting tree or fruiting crop farmer, and you have a bee on your farm or close by to your farm your production will improve drastically because they help in the process of pollination so and that is why they are very very important to food security so uh, apart from the fact that we exploit only from them you don't need to feed them they also help us in promoting food security and they help us in uh, ensuring uh, more yield on our farm so if you are somebody uh, you have passion for beekeeping it's actually it's something you can do with low capital I, I don't want to see little capital with some amount of money like 200,000 you can sustainable start and you don't need uh, too much capital like feeding or like poultry and so many other uh, animal production so you just need the beehive you need uh, the bee wax that will use that you will use in the in the in the beating of the hive then you need your protective gear the only reason why i'm not opening any of the box is because i'm not putting on a protective gear so I just came to this farm to fix some things for them and do some consultation and I came across this and I said okay let me just make some uh, explanation about beekeeping because I know definitely there will be people out there who wants to start uh, beekeeping it's actually very very productive very very profitable and very very interesting uh, side of agriculture it's called apiary and very very nice uh, so with this, I hope you've gotten value one way or the other from this video. Uh, if you actually enjoyed this video, kindly give it a like. Share with your friends so that we can reach more audience. And uh, give this video a like.
Thank you so much. And see you on the next one. I remember Thank you for your time.